for watching Cold Fuse Channel. Hello, so welcome to the Voxus 2 UI tutorial. Thanks for your patience, I've had a hectic couple of weeks. Anyway, today we'll be looking at how to set up this UI. Before starting, it's probably worth noting, it's probably best if you've checked out the basic files and setup video. That way you'll know how to get all the files onto your device, ready for this tutorial. It will be the first link in the description below. So to complete this setup, you will need Nova Launcher, Ultimate Custom Widget, the Tiny White Icon Pack, Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper, and Dash Clock, which is replacing Zupa Widget, and I'll tell you why in a second. Alright, so let's get started by having a look at what Voxus 2 actually looks like. So on the first page, you'll be able to see that on the left hand side we have four different tiny white icons, and that's going to be explained a bit later, and then we have two Ultimate Custom Widget widgets. Flipping over to the next page, there's just two main widgets for your weather. There's a top part and a bottom part, pretty straightforward to set up, and once again we'll get into that in just a second. The second page just has three widgets, a status bar, a title, and this four-way cross. The next page features five tiny white icons, and then we have a clock at the top with a time and date, and then an uh, active messaging link. And then the fourth page is quite interesting, it actually uses Zupa widget, as well as little applications widget as well as four little tiny white icons. Now we're actually not going to be using Zupa widget in this tutorial for two main reasons. The first one is to actually load custom widgets into Zupa widget you have to pay for it so you guys probably wouldn't be happy with that and the second reason is that it's quite fiddly and uh, it doesn't work too well so I've got another widget that works even better. I'll show you guys that later though. Alright so let's get started with our Nova settings. Alright so first up let's look at the desktop. So for the desktop, I've got a 12x12 12 12 grid, so 12x12 12 12 is the highest resolution if you like, so that just gives you the most amount of freedom to move around. And for the width and height margin, I've selected both as none, so if you just click that option you don't really have to worry about it. And for the persistent search bar, I've gone ahead and I've clicked never, so I don't want a search bar on all screens, so that's basically what that's saying. So for the scroll effect, I've chosen cube. This is just the effect that you see when moving in between home screens. For scrolling, I've selected on. Multi-picture live wallpaper needs this option. You'll see that coming into effect a bit later. And infinite scrolling, this is up to you guys. I've chosen it to be off, but if you want to cycle through the screens continuously, you can select that option if you like. And I've chosen not to label the icons, just so everything's a bit cleaner. And a very important note, all of these bottom three options, resize all widgets, widget overlap, and overlap when placing must be selected. This is crucial for this setup to work. And just another side note, once you're done, make sure you lock your desktop. That just stops things from being clicked unintentionally. Cool, moving on to the Nova drawer settings. You don't have to use the built-in drawer in Nova Launcher, but for those of you that want to, these are the settings I have. So portrait is three by seven, and landscape was five by four. So if you have those options, it should be sweet. The scroll effect I've chosen was a card stack. So that's pretty, I think that's the standard uh, jelly bean effect and background transparency it's up to you I've just left it about halfway for the draw style it's horizontal doesn't really matter infinite scroll scrolls continuously through them and that's about it okay moving on to the dock now this one's pretty simple because we don't want a dock in our UI at all so we just go ahead and make sure the top section is unselected so this disables the dock completely and we want to make sure we can show indicator and show the divider so it just gives you a bit of idea of where you are. Moving on to the folders. So for the folders I've got it as a folder preview is the stack and the folder background is a circle and the background transparency is full so it's fully transparent and I've chosen to label the icons. If I'm going too fast please feel free to pause this video at any time. So moving on to the look and feel this one is quite important, so the color theme is just the default, icon theme is the default, we'll look at that later. And the icon size, because we're using the tiny white icon pack, I've actually adjusted that to 110%, so they're just a little bit bigger than what they normally would be, which averages out to normal size. And I've selected auto rotate as the screen orientation. Now, if you want to force this in portrait, you can, and if you want to force it in landscape likewise, you can do that. The scroll speed, animation speed, and app animation is all just the standard Nova ones. And I've chosen not to show the notification bar, so I've just unselected that. And transparent notification bar is enabled as well. 
Up next we have the gestures and buttons. So in this section we can pretty much assign different hand motions and gestures to do different actions. So I've got the pinch to show previews, pinch out recent apps, swipe up is nothing, you can select something if you like, swipe down is expand notifications, double tap, some people like to put that as the app drawer but I've left it as nothing, swipe up is Nova settings, swipe down is app drawer, and Clicking on any one of these options, you can go ahead and click out of any of the Nova options that you want, or even apps or shortcuts, so quite useful there. So those are the Nova settings. Now let's move on to multi-picture live wallpaper. So this is the effect that you see when you scroll in between home screens, just that flipping effect that you see. So to enable it, we long press on the home screen, scroll down to wallpapers, click on multi-picture live wallpaper, and then in the settings, this is what I've got. So for the common settings and the picture source, make sure it's uh, Cold Fusion's Future Nostalgia Collection. So that's if you want the same wallpapers that I do. If you don't, that's cool. Um, background color, I've just selected as Auto Detect. And Crop Resize Ratio, I've select Fit to Full Screen. So that's very important. Make sure you've done that. And I've decreased the saturation to 40% just to make sure you can see things a little bit clearer. And I've decreased the opacity for the same reasons. Now for the transition type, I've chosen 3D rotation, so that's the main flipping effect that you see. And I've just chosen to reflect the bottom and double tap to change pictures. And that's pretty much it, except for this. You have to make sure that uh, you've selected ignore vertical movement for the workaround because some phones have problems uh, dealing with that flipping animation. And once you're done with those, you should be good to go. Okay, so that's multi-picture live wallpaper out of the way and Nova Launcher. So we've got the foundations and now we're going to put widgets on top of that. But before we do, let's just take a quick break and then I'll see you after this. Wasn't that refreshing? Alright, so let's get onto the widgets. We're using Ultimate Custom Widget here. Let's do it. So these widgets are all going to be inside the Voxus 2 UI zip file in the description below. So download that first before doing this. So. To get this all set up, we just go into the widgets, select Ultimate Custom Widget, scroll down, you can choose any size you want really, but um, I'm just going to choose a 4x1 for this, and I'm going to delete this so you can start see how it's like from starting from scratch. I'm just going to go to the top left and click New, we're going to go Open, and then Open Use It, and then we're going to actually browse to the downloaded directory of where the Voxus 2 UI folder is, and then we're going to choose this Essential Applications heading. So you're going to see that it's actually going to be white, so we're going to go and edit objects and then we're going to go along and go to the static text and then we're going to choose the colour, so pretty much you can choose whatever colour you want it to be, even if you want it to be white that's cool. So I've just chosen that blue and just go ahead and, and click OK. If you want to save it as a new skin you can do that and then you can exit out of this application and then you'll have your full on widget there to resize as you please and move around. So it's as simple as that, we're going to do a few more so you get the hang of it. Right, so let's move on to the application drawer widget. So this one's actually quite interesting because it contains a hotspot, so that means when you click on a certain place in the widget, it actually takes you to another app. And if there was a time to pay attention, it's now, because Ultimate Custom Widget is a bit glitchy on this, so just follow all the instructions exactly to a T as I specify, and you cannot go wrong. So go into widgets, once again go down to Ultimate Custom Widget, scroll down and select any size you want, and then I'm going to just delete this so it's, you can see how it's like starting from scratch. So we're going to go into Use It, and then we're going to click on Application Draw Text, and then when we click on that, you can kind of think of this as installing it into Ultimate Custom Widget to use later and modify. So it'll give you just a white box, and yeah, don't worry about it just because it's, it's kind of glitchy, so just continue as I say. Go into Widgets, scroll all the way down to Ultimate Custom Widget again, scroll down to the size you want and then this time we're actually going to go ahead and click on new and when you click on new it'll give you the option to touch here again so just click on that and then now we're actually going to go and click on open and then click on open saved skins so this is the uh, what I was talking about before when it was meant to kind of save it into ultimate custom widget so it's going to be back there at the top so click on that and um, now we can go edit objects and then we click on hotspots so things get pretty interesting here just go ahead and click on hotspot one 
and then click on the hotspot option and click on app. And now I'm going to actually select an app called Alternative Draw. So that link, the link for that will be in the description as well. And this is just a, it's pretty much as the name suggests, an alternative draw. So let's close the app down and see how everything works together. So we have the application draw text and when we click on that we actually get the alternative draw app itself. So if you like you can just scroll up and down through the list of applications but if you don't want all your applications listed out like that there are other formats within alternative draw. Let's take a look at the weather widgets. It comes in two parts, a top part and a bottom part. It's pretty straightforward so just long press on your home screen as usual, click on widgets click on ultimate custom widget and then scroll down to whatever size you want. You guys are probably getting the gist of that step by now. So we're going to click on use it and then ultimate custom widget may chuck a sad and you might just get a white box but that's cool. Just go back into it and then this time it will actually be saved as a widget so just click on the widget and then it will open up. And um, it's pretty much as simple as that. Just do the same thing for the bottom half of the widget and you're good to go. Okay, on the next page we have this cross widget, so basically it's got a whole bunch of hotspots. So if you click on the top it takes you to the web browser, and then clicking on the right box it takes you to the music player, and then the bottom takes you to the play store, and the left takes you to the camera. So really all you need to do to do this, go into ultimate custom widget, and then when you're selecting your widget, there's going to be a widget called cross apps. And this is what you're going to use for this widget. So just edit this, use it, and assign four hotspots. One for the web browser, camera, play store, and music player of your choice. Doing the hotspots is exactly the same process as with the application draw text from earlier. So at the top of the page, you might have noticed the status bar. So that's just another ultimate custom widget with another ultimate custom widget text on top of that. So really it's the same sequence of steps to get any other widget on. So once again just long press, go to widgets, ultimate custom widget, go to use it, and then select the status bar. And then simply just resize it to whatever size you want. And same thing goes for the text at the top. On the next page you'll see that we have a clock. So once again just go into use it and select clock this time. and resize and reposition as desired. At the bottom you'll see that we have a status for the number of unread texts. Because it's a hotspot and we want to select an action for this, we're going to go new and then go into open, open use it, click on messages, edit objects, hotspots, hotspot one, and then for the hotspot we're just going to do exactly the same thing again and select the app that we want and this time it's going to be messages. So when we exit out of the app, we'll just see that the hotspots work as wanted. Okay, so onto the final page. Now we have two widgets here. Um, the application's little widget here, that's just for aesthetics really, it doesn't actually do anything. And on top of that we have the Zooper widget. And we're actually not going to be using that. Uh, we're actually going to be using something called Dash Clock. So if you go in the description and uh, download the Dash Clock app, um, this is how it actually works. So you can go ahead and you can choose what different kind of notifications you want and they're all customizable. And you can also change the appearance of the clocks, the date formats or how bold you want the text. And so it's got a, quite a nice variety of options in there. To keep things nice and uniform, it's advised to click the always centered option. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and resize it to what you want. And I've just put the transparency down to zero so it just looks a little bit better. And um, anytime you want, you can go back into the settings uh, by clicking next to the clock and modifying. So that's Dash Clock, and it's a pretty user-friendly widget, and it rounds out the end of the widget section. So by now, Voxus 2 should be almost set up. The only things that are missing are the icons. So I'll quickly show you how to get those set up. So we're going to be using the tiny white icon pack and really to get this all set up all you have to do is long press on the home screen and then click on apps and then scroll to the app that you want to modify so say I want an action memo app and then it will bring up the icon so we just click on that and then go edit, edit shortcut 
and then scroll over to the tiny white icon pack which should be installed if you've actually gone ahead and uh, downloaded it from the marketplace. So you can really have a whole range of, I think there's hundreds upon hundreds of different uh, icons to choose from so you can just choose to your heart's content. So say I want to go ahead and just choose this random uh, calendar, just click on it and then click the tick and that's it. So I've got four icons here so I can just go ahead and uh, place them where I want to and that's pretty much it so let's just do another one just to get your head around it. Say I want Astro File Manager and uh, just click on that, go edit, edit shortcut and then pretty much swipe over to the tiny white icon pack, choose whatever icon I want and that's it. So pretty much just go ahead, repeat the steps and place them wherever you want to. So that is it guys, that rounds out the end of the Voxus 2 UI tutorial. So this is what Android really comes down to, a personalized experience just for you. So go ahead, go nuts with the files and enjoy your new phone. Thanks guys for watching and as always, don't forget to have a good day. Cold future. It's new thinking.